Hi, I'm Teresa Maldonado Marchok, licensed PT and certified Pilates instructor. I'm going to share with you today Stuart McGill's Core Big Three, and I'm referencing it directly from his book, Low Back Disorders. For the beginner curl up, you're going to begin with your hands underneath the small of your back, and you're going to lengthen one leg down below you. The hands are there to monitor the pressure under your back. It should remain the same. Take an inhale, and on the exhale, you're going to float your head off of an imaginary bathroom scale, taking it from 12 pounds to zero without changing anything in the low back. Just good core engagement. Breathing in and out. You'll hold that for six to eight seconds. Come down and do the same thing on the other side. The next exercise in McGill's Big Three is the side bridge. So the beginner's version, you're on your forearm, your shoulder, is down away from your ear, your bottom ribs are up, place your top hand on your shoulder and exhale to take off, lifting the hips up. Keep your head on your spine and just breathe continually and smoothly. And then lower down and of course you would do the other side. For the intermediate version, you would lengthen your legs and stagger them one in front of the other and press up, maintaining that good alignment in your spine, not letting the hips sag or the ribs sag. And then you would just pivot to the other side and stay there, maintaining good breath, alignment, and precision. The final exercise we're going to do in McGill's Big Three is the bird dog. I'm first going to show you the beginner version, then the intermediate version. Come on to hands and knees, and you'll begin with the beginner version by just lengthening one leg up, reaching it, and coming in, and doing that with the other leg, and then doing the arm, single arm reach, and the goal is to keep your spine still. So when you're moving your leg, you're moving from your hip. And when you're moving your arm, you're moving from your shoulder joint. And then the intermediate version is putting it all together. So opposite arm and leg, reach out, lengthen. And you're keeping your hips level, your spine still, and your head on your spine also still. Hold that for six to eight seconds as you breathe comfortably and then draw in and other side. This is working extensor strength, core strength, and balance. I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you.